other interesting political news, yeah, the White House claiming that Biden looking lost are simply deep fake videos, which might spur many lawsuits. Now this is coming to us to thanks to Lives with TikTok. Same breaking KGP claims that the videos of Biden freezing up are cheap fakes and manipulated videos. And of course, A plus for this reference is George Orwell quote, which again wrote 1984 in Animal Farm, famously, probably two of his best works, which are supposed to be dystopian novels about the future, but unfortunately are now more like biographies of the real world. And it's even more saddening when you find that many parts of our society are actually worse than 1984 and Animal Farm. And the quote is, the party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. A quote. Yeah, it's only about, eh, about a minute and 48 seconds long. It was a nice compilation of Biden's actions just opposed with Green John Pierre, which, eh, yeah, it's to be funny. There, there seems to be a, a sort of rash of videos that have been edited to make the president appear especially frail or mentally confused. Um, I, I'm wondering if the, the White House is especially worried about the fact that this, this appears to be a, a, a pattern that we're seeing more from. This is funny. This is the video where he was at G7 Summit, and a lot of people are saying he's talking to a soldier. Now, if you're just tuning in, he's turning around, and if he was talking to the soldier, why is the soldier not acknowledging him at one iota? So you see Biden, again, everyone's in a group, and he's turned around, just staring off into the abyss. And it looks like he's raising his hand like he's trying to talk to someone, yet the soldier never appears to move his head or acknowledge Biden. And then Biden's handler, or one of the was Italian prime minister, comes and, you know, handles him back. That's interesting. We, and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly... Oh. Medical issues, really? Yeah, we and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly what they are. They are cheap fakes video. Uh, they are done in bad faith, uh, and uh, and some of your news organization uh, have uh, have been very clear, have stressed that these right wing, uh, the right wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation, disinformation. Uh, and so we see this, and this is something coming from from your your part of the world, calling them cheap. This is right now. If you're just listening on Spotify or one of the uh, podcast platforms, you have Obama guiding Biden off the stage after he looked lost. Fakes and misinformation. Uh, and uh, I'll quote the Washington Post where they wrote uh, they wrote about this, and they said how Republicans use misleading videos to attack Biden in a 24-hour period. And to their credit, we have a conservative Washington examiner uh, did call them out as well, calling out the New York Post. Uh, ironically, several, several recent cheap fakes actually attacked the president for thanking troops, for thanking troops. That is what they're attacking the president for. Both in Normandy, this happened, and again in Italy. And uh, I think that it tells you everything that we need to know about how, um, how desperate, how desperate Republicans are here. Uh, and uh, instead of talking about the president's performance in office, and what I mean by that is his legislative wins, what he's been able to do for the American people across the country, we're seeing these deep fakes, uh, these manipulated videos. Uh, and it is, again, done in bad faith. There right. Now, you do have some video videos that were cut inappropriately. Now, again, there was a point of controversy at the D-Day Memorial celebration where Biden appeared to be sitting down or defecating himself. However, if you watch the extended video, it then turns out he was going to sit down when everyone else around him then sat down. That being said, his face still mu very much looked like he was relieving himself. So that is certainly an issue of some videos not showing the full length of it. But again, it still looks like he was messing himself and this went pretty viral got 3.3 million views and 85,000 likes the first ones is playing a meme so they did respond in meme form so two for three today playing a meme says secretary of lies as kgp in mcdonald's outfit says do you want some lies with that i got 1.3 thousand likes you have paul zupa saying k JP just looks miserable. Having to vomit these lies for so long is taking its soul on her. She should resign. Getting 585 likes, which, yeah. 
Play memes also says again in the form they're now three for four. They're increasing. The sideshow Karen added again. It says who does the hair better? And sideshow Bob from The Simpsons picture of him juxtaposed with KGP. Odd, strikingly familiar. Getting 162 likes. Let's see here. Oh, another one from Planet of Memes. Is it Jamie Foxx with the wig and drag? Looking very familiar to her. Got 98 likes. Let's see. Edie Jones says, So now it's things we see along with things he says. It says, Fact checkers be like, He didn't say that. And if he did, he didn't mean it. And if he did, you don't understand it. And if you did, it's not a big deal. And if it is, it's taken out of context. And if it wasn't, others have done. And if they haven't, at least mean Orange Man bad. The 180, no, 1.2 thousand likes for that one. Lee Liberty Tree says, Ooh, a George Orwell quote and his picture, quote from 1984. Again, one of his best books. I cannot recommend it enough. It's quite depressing, like my society, but a tale that should be taken not lightly. It says, quote, don't you see that the whole aim of Newspeak is so narrow the range of thought? In the end, we will make thought crime literally impossible because there will be no words in which to express it. And I got 246 likes. Libercat Media TM says, LMFAO says, hold on, I'm not here to answer questions. I'm just here because I'm a black lesbian. I got five, 895 likes, actually, hearing John Pierre standing there, which, yeah, they very, the White House has very much emphasized their race and sexual orientation and gender with many of the people they're appointing. But most famously, the Supreme Court oh, nominee, now she's actually on there. Yeah, Biden said it out loud. He said, I'm going to hire a black woman. Instead of choosing what he should have said, if he was smart, he said, I'm going to hire, I'm going to nominate the best candidate for the Supreme Court nominee. That's not what he said, which is also technically illegal for the government to choose someone based on things that they cannot alter, such as their race and their gender. And yet, he said that out loud. And no one but a couple conservative media outlets actually critiqued him on it. Yeah. And now we have someone on the Supreme Court who also cannot define what a woman is. Yeah. Scrolling down more and more. Yeah, Chicago Ray saying, remember when Democrats wanted Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment because Trump was walking carefully down a rain-soaked ramp? But Biden is being assisted everywhere he goes, and we're, we're to pay no mind at all. Gaining 725 likes. Our truth says the clown is going 1984, gaining 461 likes. Nasa 84 says Biden was insulated like a toilet. We will see what is going on. Vote with your wallet and heads, folks. Vote red, save America. This picture of the White House on a toilet it says Democrats, if the economy was doing great, you wouldn't have to tell us every day. We would know. Vote Republican 24, gaining 280 likes. Liberal Cat Media TM says you can't make this up. And it's a picture of Biden and Kamala. It says when you're so full of shit, you need a second asshole. 156 likes. Now, there's also because. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Reagan says the irony of spreading different disinformation by accusing conservatives of spreading different information, getting 211 likes. Now, this is also implying that companies like Fox News and these other news outlets are altering or making fakes of the president, which again. Are they going to now sue? There's some people saying they're going to sue the White House because now they're slandering their new their news outlets. That'll be interesting to see how that hammers out in the courts and if anything actually comes from that. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Are you surprised at this point? Do you, will you believe? Is it age old saying "Don't believe your lying eyes" or something like that? Let me know in the comments. As always, it'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I really appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.